eight, somewhere between eight and ten years old, some guy just showed up on the beach one day with one of these crazy contraptions, just set it up with a, what looked like a parachute. Now I know it's a wing. Uh, as, as a kid, and I just saw him take off, and it was like, that is crazy. I had no idea you could do that. And now, 20 years later, I realized, hey, I'm an adult now. I can actually do that. <laughs> Welcome to the official start of the first class here at uh, Aviator X35. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am Andrew Solano and I'm the manager here at X35. My team and myself are here to serve you for the next 14 days and help you grow your paramotor wings here. One of the things that really stands out about Aviator is we've become a family. And generally that first day of class is one of those special days where we get to meet the new students and we share our stories of what God has involved with flight. Um, my name is Aiden, I'm 57, I'm from California. So I've, I've come 3,000 miles, and I'm <laughs> jazzed to be here, thankful to be here. Thank you for being here, Thank you. We were super excited to be here, especially the first class. We were high-fiving each other, like, first class at Nadalia. <laughs> so my co-workers say my special power is I can take anything that you say and turn it into something perverted. But <laughs> <laughs> You see people's faces when you ask for superpowers because they all think invisibility and stuff like that. But when you see them think about, what am I good at? You know, it really makes them think and just some of the things that they reveal about themselves gives an idea of that person's personality. My special power is I'm very optimistic. Now, you guys will notice I'm kind of an introvert in my big, big social settings, but. You guys are all really cool, so let's go. <laughs> My special power is, um, even though it will take me normally two or three times longer than everybody else, uh, my special power is making things work. I'm an engineer. <laughs> um, the first day we towed into there, so we did the ground school, we did the simulator, and then we went to the towing. For me, the towing day was probably the thing that really changed my life. Towing's a lot of fun and it's really easy. Yeah. So, just relax, take a deep breath, relax. It's really fun. You've already learned step by step. We're gonna be with you step by step by step. So, just relax and enjoy it. Pick up that riser and check it, flip it, and clip it for me. Yep. Check all of our harness straps. You're standing there. You've got a line attached and a wing behind you. You start running that wing inflates. And your feet leave the ground. The second my feet left the ground and you start to get 20, 30 foot in the air and Eric's like, take a look around Fletch, enjoy this moment. And I was lost. Take a deep breath, get those hands up, we're gonna come down for a landing now. Hands all the way up, a little bit of left pressure, wait. Wow. Woo! So worth it. <laughs> so worth every moment. Awesome. Good job still on the brakes. Let's go ahead and rosette it up. For me, that was the, the point that I was like, I want to do this. I don't care how the rest of it goes. I want that feeling again and again. someone who has that much confidence in myself a lot of the time no way I can't do that I, I don't think so and then the next day we'd be kiting and I'd be like okay I guess I can do this you know that night you'd be like oh and tomorrow we're gonna be towing nah no way I can't do it and once again shattered shattered that expectation yet again and helped build that confidence and I thought I signed up for a paramotor course here but I really signed up for way much more Tell you what, I, I just kept running and you almost don't realize that your feet are coming off the ground. It was awesome. Good job. Running smoothly, reduce that pressure. Hands coming up to your ears. Nice, beautiful toe. Mike, yeah, yeah. keep tracking right towards me. Coming off the power now. Let's get those hands all the way up to the pulley. All the way up to the pulley. Very nice, deep breath. One foot in front of the other, ready to run. Wait, wait, pressure, pressure. All the way down, run, 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 run. Nice. Keep on running, hands up slow, hands back up. The first few days I was like, they said that this course was going to be really physical. And I was like... <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> 
I was like, we're, we're kiting for a couple hours a day and then it got more and more and then they started putting the paramotors on our back <laughs> and started running and I was like, oh my lord, I've been in the army for 23 years and I thought that this would be no problem. Um, it's rough. It is not easy. I've never seen anybody fight as hard as I saw her fight for this. Like completely solidified my respect for her and her pure determination to uh, to make it happen. It's all right, it's all right. I, I I thought long and hard about it last night, and I think where I screwed up was I looked at the ground. You don't look down. This is what they always say: don't look down. Just the way we built each other up. I mean, to do the class with other people that have the life with the same mind and the same interest, it's to watch them, to watch them succeed and for them to watch you su succeed. I mean, you, you accomplish such mental and physical barriers that you can't even imagine until you've accomplished them and then you feel like, I can do anything. Um, it was just simply amazing. Uh, that's something that we're going to have forever. Good job, dude. You made it. The general thing is it's not as easy as it looks on video. You know, you're, you're at the mercy of the wind. You know, you're, you're hoping to tame something that's caught up in the wind. And it, it's, it's a challenge. It's not always easy for some students. You know, some have practiced a little bit at home. Some click straight away. It's, it's different for every person. Here, helping set up wings. Yeah, second, yeah, second for the rear on the right. Now. And then we're going to be out here. A lot of information, but I think we're, we're getting really close to being ready to fly. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing how, how quickly you pick up on this stuff. Yeah. Within no time, it's like one thing after another, and they all start piecing together. So today's yeah. kind of the day where we piece it together and see if we got it right. <laughs> I'm moving because I'm cold. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get this blowback of oil. Yeah. The reed valve, uh, yeah. and it drips a little. Huh? This flag is the one that I use. It, look, it looks more difficult than it is. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. But that angle that you're throwing your leg out on the side, you know, just whatever happens happens. You know, you gotta fly the craft. Should be doing is listening to what I say. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna keep you safe. Yep. So we're gonna try to You reach a point when you're kind of running down the field that it feels right, um, and you're like, I, I think this is happening this time. You just, the pressure on your back just feels like some magical ghost just kind of pushing you into the sky, and it's it's all you. I mean, and it's such a such a sense of accomplishment to just watch the ground just kind of fade away into the distance. It, it literally lights your soul on fire as an instructor to have someone fly for the very first time, experience life from an uplifted perspective is just, you, you can't put a price on it. Right. Wow. <laughs> you got more hugs going. I'll get that. <laughs> Red, oh. God, really. Amazing work. I'm not an emotional guy, but I've teared up a couple times just with the power of the energy within within the room. I haven't seen any other company build that team feeling in the classroom and on the field. And this is honestly the first time where I've seen grown men giving each other hugs rather than handshakes. 
Yeah, we definitely have built a family here. And you guys bring that up the first day of class. And to me, I'm like, I don't know you guys from anyone else, but this is gonna be cool training. But every hour we spend together, it's like an hour of you know, building this this home together, this structure of, of uh, commitment and energy and power. And man, that's why I don't wanna leave. So. Um, it's not even the chain thing, it's just like the fact that we can actually, it feels like now we can actually take care of more people. <laughs> you only have two more to do, right? Only. <laughs> oh, 30 more. Yeah. Oh, be crazy. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear.